one. All right, everyone. The next joint locks that we're going to go over is called a wraparound. The wraparound is a version of a wrist twist. So we're actually going to, going to start with the wrist twist, but I'm stepping towards it. Remember the gooseneck we use in rear arm lock? I go under and over from here, okay? So from here, I start with the wrist twist. I step in, my other hand goes under and over. Another version will be, same thing, a variation, grabbing it, actually giving it to my grip. So there will be another one that's from here, okay? So again, you start with the wrist twist while the other hand goes under. Same thing the other side. You can get to it from a lot of different places and I'll explain it to you in a few, few minutes. But I wanna do the second version of this right now. So I'm gonna start with under and over. Then from here, my hand swims over. From here like this, and I step away from him, grab my hands together and push straight up to a nice wide back stance. Again, so I go under and over and I swim over. I can actually wipe the eye from here and go into it and step back and straight up, okay? Now, it's, you can get to it from a couple different places. One, if somebody grabs the sleeves from here like this, I can come in, wipe the eye, and at the same time, end up with the same move, okay? So from here like this, notice I come up, wipe the eye, go in, and I can go straight into it. So that's one way from the here. Now. It also works from a hook. I have this little series that I want to do with you on the side. It will be a great one to sew. So let's do, um, let's do a jab and a hook with the same hand. So parry the jab and hook. So I'm gonna block, right? Three things will happen from here. I'm gonna wipe the eye. I'm gonna end up getting a, the uh, wrapper up, which means his arm that ends up bent, and I get it from here like this. Another time will be, so he does a jab, and a hook, and I go to get it right from here like this, but his arm's straight. So what happens when I do it, ends up behind me. So from here, so I end up breaking it. So I can break it and boom, go on and finish it with something else. The third version is, he does a jab and a hook from here, I lose it. So when I lose it, I give it to the other hand and I shoulder bump it. So I break it from here like this. If he punches with the other hand, so I go back, grip, over and I got a nice little pretzel and a lock here. Okay, so again, there's three of them that we could do from a jab and a hook. Ready? So, first one, I get it. See, I wipe the eye, bend your arm, please. Bend the other way, right there. So, I end up getting it. Wonderful. If I don't, so he comes in, he ends up straightening this, so I just boom, I break it and I go right through something else. Or I lose it. So, I go one, wipe the eye go straight through, if he hits me, I come back and I break it. So that would be a good way to start the wraparound.